Well, I mean, overall, the issue with a lot of the Tesla models is they actually perform very well in our testing. They're very impressive vehicles. The problem is reliability. It's build quality issues that we see. Uh, and that's not really our testing. That's actually surveys. So we have thousands of owners telling us about the problems with their vehicles, and it makes us unable to really recommend them considering those problems. Is the latest issue in terms of the autopilot, well, that's a, that's a different a animal. So, um, you know, it's interesting. I've, I've been testing cars for 20 years at Consumer Reports, and there's nothing like Tesla because they're constantly changing. You can't just test it once and wait. Um, and the latest update is this change on Navigate on Autopilot. So Autopilot is this driving automation system. Navigate on Autopilot actually suggests uh, changes in uh, lane changes, and it can execute them too if you accept them. Uh, the latest change is they've actually beamed an update to these vehicles, so it can't, depending on how your settings are, if you say, I don't want to con confirm the changes, I don't want the warning, it will just change lanes for you without the warning, without having you confirm them. And uh, with our testing of it, it was uh, really uh, a bit concerning the way it operated. Dangerous concerning? Well, I mean, it's, uh, I, I, like I've said before, it's almost like you're, you've got a pilot there, you've got uh, someone who's driving the car that is the first time, who really can't see very far. Um, sometimes it'll just cut cars off. It doesn't really, it's, it doesn't seem able to sense a car coming up behind you. Um, sometimes if it tries to pull over, it just starts slowing down very slow on the highway. Um, so you, it's, it's not a uh, situation that really helps you drive because it's actually more nerve-wracking if you actually operate it this way, uh, and it's certainly not safer. Jake, is it also, so there, there's the navigate issues and there's also the issues, like you said, about reliability of the cars overall. Has that gotten worse as they've ramped yep. up production so that the more vehicles Tesla's making, the more those factors come up? Well, it's actually interesting because in the Tesla Model 3, early on, we had reliability information, and it looked quite good. Um, in fact, it was pretty much average uh, for, the, for, for the market. Um, when they started really ramping up prediction, uh, production, that's when we actually did see more problems, more body hardware issues, um, issues of the, the glass breaking, the doors, hinges, uh, interior uh, plastics, um, more issues there, yeah. Finally, Jake, if your concerns about Navigate are that strong, is there another level of the consumer reports would go in terms of recommending people stay away from it or, or something like that? How, how far down that line have you gone? Well, specifically the settings, uh, when you, you know, we would not recommend anyone sh shutting off the confirmation or shutting off the warnings for the lane change. It doesn't really make sense. Um, we did this to test it but I would definitely not, not do this. It's very nerve-wracking experience. Um, the concern, though, it really kind of shows how far we are from a truly autonomous robo-taxi type environment because we're so not ready. Um, and this, is really, this, this feature really shows that.